Hello again people, uh, this is Sol coming back at you with something a bit more unusual. Uh, before we get to that, the chosen beverage is good old fashioned full fat milk from Great British Dairy Farmers. Just let me get a slurp of this. Oh, I love a glass of milk. Couple of may be useless but helpful facts milk i don't know how you do it in your country but we do full fat semi skimmed skimmed and a thing called bob which is best of both now here's some dairy facts for you to help get yours right one take it in moderation because what you're looking at is a bovine growth hormone that's designed to put £60 pound in weight a month onto a baby calf. So think on that one. And here's your facts. The full fat is just under 4% and anything that's deemed under 4% is good for you. So it's okay. Semi-skimmed claims to have the same taste as full fat and it kind of does and then you got fully skimmed which i call white water which is just nasty i won't even pour it down the sink it offend me drains but best of both bob milk that is skim milk that claims to have the same taste as semi skimmed and i've tried it and it's true but there's a sting in the tail because it's the same when you come to yoghurt as well. If it's high in fat, or well, this isn't high in fat, it's, you know, I'm not saying, I'm saying drink full fat milk, it's good for you. In moderation. But the higher the fat content, the lower the sugar. So being a diabetic, full fat milk is recommended for me and that's what I grew up with a taste of. Jersey cream full fat milk, how beautiful. If it's low fat, it's high sugar. And that's how they get the taste somewhere similar. They sweeten the low fat milk up. So that one has got a sting in its tail. So I advocate drinking full fat milk, blue coloured. In our country, semi skimmed is green and skim milk, which is horrible, is in red for danger. Do not drink. Um, so remember, and it's the same for yoghurt, if it's high fat, it's low sugar. If it's low fat, it's high sugar. There's no in between. So if you're on a low sugar diet, plump for the higher fat content, it's still under 4% and still good for you. So there you go, there's your wholesome milk facts. Oh, incidentally, if you're lactose intolerant, you can drink goat's milk. I want. It tastes like goat. It's awful. But remember that lactose is milk sugar. The natural sugar that occurs. Now, I've tried lactose free. And I can't tell the difference. It's wonderful. Uh, so there's another alternative for you as well. There we go. Useless beverage facts. Oh, God knows how many in this series. Now then, now then. Right. Let's do a bit of zoom zoom. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a sci-fi nut. Have we got a focus there? Yeah, kind of. And I collected everything that I can in Hot Wheels that is sci-fi-ish. So we've got the two bat wings. The black one has a blue canopy. The grey silver one has a lime green canopy little things that people don't pick out we've got the magnificent ship from guardians of the galaxy and we've got one of my favorite series of all time star trek the enterprise from the movies and the vengeance from the latest 
woke heavy TV series that have women in it called Michael and anyway I'm not going to go there but anyway you get the point I like me sci-fi and I was out at TK Maxx as you saw in my last video and I just popped in to the entertainer toy shop didn't see much in there that was new or that I didn't have let me move these out of the way and we can see where we're going with this one but yeah, I love me sci-fi, sci-fi fantasy. I know what this world's about. It's not brilliant, so I like to escape and hope that there's a better world out there somewhere else. Uh, da, 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 da. Why am I doing Superman? Da, 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 da. Well... From the film, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this is a very heavy box. And what you're seeing there, look. In the picture. And. In the box. Made by Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels Starships. Exclusive metallic deco. Uh, with bonus Builder Death Star. What you're looking at is a fully metallic. Boba Fett's Slaver 1. Um, it's, a, it's a hell of a series. Uh, you see at the top there. Let me see. There we go. Commemorative 5 of 9. And there's Boba Fett's Slave 1. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. There's the artwork from Empire Strikes Back. And the packaging is a, and so what you get on here is that if you collect all nine, it seems like you would get maybe a collector's card. Let me put me goggles on, where have I put me goggles? Oh, do you know? Oh, here they are. Somebody say they're on your head, for God's sake. So, you've got Naboo Starfighter. Republican attack gunship, very cool. Uh, ETA 2 Jedi Starfighter. Classic Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. As we've seen, Boba Fett Slaver 1. And then coming in the fall of 2019. Uh, episode 6 Starship. 7 Starship. 8 Starship. Nine starships. So these things aren't out there yet. Well, not here. But the thing is, if you collect each part, you will have enough to make a Death Star. Build a premium metallic Death Star. So there's reason enough to collect them all. Me, there was all of these there, but I've opted for the Republican gunship and Slaver Wonkus. Boba Fett's an iconic figure. I can't describe to you how heavy these are. These are all metal. I'm assuming there's a base in there and maybe a part for a Death Star. So we'll do a live unboxing in a minute. And there, as I alluded to, from Attack of the Clones, there's the movie artwork from there. Princess Amidala and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Adrian Christensen as um, Anakin Skywalker. Is it me or Natalie Portman? She's uh, she's a beauty, isn't she? Goodness gracious me. But here we go. The Republic attack gunship. Cool one that flew Yoda in and out in the battle scenes. And Obi-Wan and Anakin gave chase to... Oh, Christopher Lee's character. He was a daft one. He daft Sidious. Uh, somebody will correct me. But again, weighty as anything. Big packaging. And again, build that Death Star based on what part you got there. So that, that Slaver one was five of nine and this is two of nine. So let's unbox them and see what we get inside. Um, is there a nice way to undo this? That's glued down. 
that's glued down so I would suggest no is there a no no so it looks like these are designed to cabbage the packaging which isn't the best people might like to keep them in there but for our purposes we want to open them and get them on display Ah, da, 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 da. Right, this isn't the easiest. No, I don't think there's any way to uh, save that packaging, alas. Let's zoom out a bit if we can. There we go. That's about as far as I can zoom out. So that's either the base for this in a bag, two pieces. All oh, right, there's the Death Star, and it is. All metallic interlocking, I guess you slide and twist to lock. So that's interesting. So that we know the Death Star would be all metallic. I'd be very interested in collecting the series now, I think. Uh, this has been an absolute cow. So I might have to go in the other side. So this, well, unless you wanted to mess about with. Um, Things like uh, nail polish remover or what have you. I mean, look at this. How heavy. I'm just going to have to destroy it. There's no two ways about it. It won't let me in. Hot wheels. It seems nice. Get it right. So nothing left in the box. Not much left of the box. So stand and piece of Death Star in that side. And this is packaged beautifully and tightly. To stop you getting damage to it that's great all in praise of that and goodness me look at this republican gunship it's well detailed rear gun jet engines um the two uh glass bubbles with forward facing gunners forward facing guns Upper guns, I mean, this thing's armed out to buggery, isn't it? I mean, this is a serious, serious piece. Um, that almost looks like it's a screw, and that's a typical rivet. Um, interesting. It's got a serial number on it. 1079 EAA. Don't know what that means. And LF. L copyright hmm but yeah this is all metal very nice detail love that so let's have a little put the stand together and see if we can't break it goodness me well they've certainly they've certainly done the packaging that's not meant to lose its contents easily so that's good. I wish the boxes had just been simple tabs. You know, I wouldn't have minded putting these away till I've got somewhere to display them. So let's figure this out then. So we've got a tri locking star there. Um, that's textured. Uh, yeah, it's got the made in China thing on. Now I would assume to get the centre of balance, you'd have to put it on. What's that? Oh no, that's interesting as well. There's no destructions. Let's figure out which end they go in there. That's squared off. Squared off and that's... Okay, that'll have to go in there. Let's double check that and find out which way this is going to go. I would suggest it wouldn't be that way. Talk amongst yourselves, will you? That doesn't seem to fit. Ah, there, there. Right, it must do. Right, so we'll put this into the centre of the base first, see what we get. Right, it locks into tabs that are on the outside. That's pretty straightforward and pretty sturdy there's that and now I suggest 
that we proceed with caution here because I think maybe once this is locked in, it's locked in. And we don't want to break anything. Goodness me. Talk amongst yourselves. Hellfire. Well, maybe I should have done some pre preparation. Now is the answer to that. I shall have to do that off on camera and show you later on. I mean, that looks pretty damn straightforward, doesn't it? Is the tabs on there that only lock in one way? At least you're getting to see this live. I bet it's not very compelling. So there's a tab there and a tab there. Ah, right. Okay. There maybe is only one way for this to go in then. There we go, and I've just found it. Always use applied logic. There we go. Let's move that out. The, oh, let's turn that around for a darker, a darker thing. Boom. That is nice. I'm liking that. Let's get a zoom in. Does that improve it if I take it away? It's about it is what it is. That is a smart, smart thing. I'm liking that. That's a worthy addition to me collection of sci-fi. Even if you didn't have any more, that'd be a standalone piece, wouldn't it? That is wonderfully crafted. I mean, even if you didn't like the I suppose Zamak finish, Zamak finish, however you want to pronounce that. But I like that as it is. Uh, yeah. Rate that, rate that highly. So let's uh, forget the finesse then. And uh, rip into this, well, what I'm looking forward to. Now, if I thought that was complicated, we know that Boba Fett's Slaver 1 flies sort of upright. It's quite bizarre, isn't it? But that's why I like it, because it's a bit different. Will this packaging come out as one? It has done. Good, good. Right, so in the box then. Oh, this is why I hate live TV. But there we go. There's a substance. You can see this Death Star is going to be massive. Oh, I've got to get these. Now, the thing is, uh, with these boys and girls, is that um, you can see where the opening for the planetary destroying ray would be. Yeah, that, that's next section up. Wow, and you can hear. It is full metal. Wow, that's going to make a beautiful display. I must collect all of these now. I've talked myself into it. Let's get the stand out because this one I think will be slightly different. Just for the orientation of the ship. I'm saying it, I don't know. Don't take a lot for a former model maker or current model maker to fab them out. But there is no destructions. Uh, same as before then. So your clue is that the white tab connects to the ship via two lugs. And then we've got the free star that pops in there. This one's got a different logo on it now. So that one had the Empire logo on it. And this one, I don't quite see what that is yet. But I'm sure it'll reveal itself. Let's have a little look-see. There we go. Does that tilt as well? No. It looks like it's got an articulated joint on. Always be careful when you're putting these things together. They love them to snap. It means you have to go back and buy some more. Goodness me, now this one is in the packaging so well. 
Hell, it's like somebody super glued it in. Right. Let's attack with a knife. There we go. I think we're just about free. Yes, we are. Let's get rid of that bit of packaging there. That's all the packaging out of the way. So what do we get here? Well, we know that's the way Slaver 1 flies. And it has these rotating stabilisation wings. Uh, Boba Fett and Django Fett's canopy there. He's got his forward orientated lasers there. That he tried to blast uh, Obi-Wan out of the sky with. Got all the jet detail at the back. I get the feeling we can only have it flying that way, which is disappointing. That's in takeoff mode. It's got to be like that. But I'd sooner it was on the display stand that way, the way it flies or falls. Uh, but yeah, look at that detail again. Great post with it in there. Jet thrusters, stabilisation wings, forward facing lasers. And all sorts of compartments that come out and let off rockets and all sorts of nasties. Oh, it does fly that way. Look at that. I didn't even look. Look, it's pointing that way. Well, that's made my day because that's the way it should fly. And there we go. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what I'd like to see. There we go. Obviously two different scales, or is it? How do we know in reality what's big and what's not? So there's two wavy additions to my collection and two mega sized pieces towards making the Death Star. In fact, I've just picked up the number there, look. Number five, so this will have something underneath, surely. Yeah, number two and number five, look. So you can't go wrong. Absolutely spectacular, really. And I say that's got to be somewhere up there. I'm going to go back for some of these. Now, the thing is with these, because they're uh, heavy metal. And um, real quality, real, real good make. Does that look any better that way? Kind of. Um, because they're heavy metal, well detailed, nicely finished, hellishly re uh, resolute stands, I suppose they've got to be to carry that weight. And you get all your pieces for the Death Star, and I would imagine a hell of a stand for that one. These usually retail in the Entertainer, I'd never seen them till the other day, for £4 each. There should be five, and I think that's a price well worth paying. I'd be prepared to pay that. Um, but at four pounds, I think they're a bit of a steal, to be honest with you. But yeah, I have got to, got to get me the whole collection now. So there we go. Uh, well done, Hot Wheels, on this one. Apart from your packaging being an absolute cow to wrestle open. Um, yeah, well impressed. Well impressed. Uh, and they can go on a shelf of their own as a standalone collection. So, let's get me drop of milk in there. Look out for them. Are they available in your country? Let me know. I've never seen them. But I absolutely adore them. I think they're fine. Absolutely fine. So, uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, if you so desire. If you don't, then God bless you anyway. Uh, so, this is Salt with a sci-fi special. Uh, and when I say sci-fi, I think of my old mate from Malaysia, Adi Pra, who has got quite a few of these things as well. 
But yeah, let me know if they're available in your location. I've never seen them before, but that's nothing new for this back part of the world. So you all take it cool. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you again. Bye-bye.